girls, ladies, and geraniums, please know that you're loved to absolute bits. Today's video is not appropriate for all viewers. Watch with care, and I'd probably not have children watch it. Ladies and geraniums, I feel like there needs to be a bit of a consensus. There are times when it's quite fun to post silly images on Facebook. Cats wearing hats. Boom. Bonus. Most people, 99.9% .9 of people, are most likely going to be like, aww. Da 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 da. The vague quasi nutritional stuff where they're just like, eat this, so that this body part will grow big and strong. And then it shows figs and talks about your testes. Well, KK, but one, as a person that does not have those. Also, <clears throat> while certain foods can help certain body parts, um, you know, we hear a lot about calcium for the bones, but it also goes into use elsewhere in the body and there I was inundated with got milk ads talking about the benefits of dairy and other dairy style foods including the vegan ones like oat milk or almond milk or rice milk as a teenager I am aging myself here y'all y'all remember the milk mustache days I feel like I should edit a milk mustache onto my face, but you know, people are a bit gross and that could be used by very interesting people. While we're at it, <laughs> vitamin C is not what you think it is. Certain people. And I'm going to refer to what you offered as vitamin foghorn leghorn, because it can only be described as vitamin bark, 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 bark. That, that that's that's a lovely offer but also no okay so I am not by the I do not have any qualifications I am simply someone who does not like that crap I don't think people who raise bats like bat crap but here we are and you can go through books discussing what vitamin c and calcium do for the entire body and they are needed throughout the entire body but things don't work the same way that you know you're not going to be able to eat a fig and have it go directly to your ovaries or testes you're not going to be able to eat an orange and have it go directly to your titties. That's not how it works. I'm sorry. But hopefully the uh, vitamins and minerals and everything else can go to helping you out when you need it and, you know, stuff like that. By the way, <clears throat> alkaline water. Alkaline water is crap. Not by taste, but it's just as a concept, it's ridiculous. We, we are already roughly the same pH level as water, just by ourselves. And then, which is 7.0, and then, you know, you have soda pop, which puts you slightly more at the acidic end, you know, lowering the pH levels down to like three. And then you have things like oven cleaner. Okay, bad example. But you have some more alkaline and basic stuff down here with a higher alkaline, with a higher level of pH, which renders them alkaline or basic. And now you know. 
So I guess if you are drinking alkaline, you are technically a basic bitch. Okay, sorry. I, I do love my science jokes. So eating walnuts isn't necessarily going to help your brain by itself. Although any nutrition helps, uh, you do want healthy, healthy stuff in you. You also, there are a lot of consensuses and a lot of things that are still wrong and are still being taught that need to go out. And I am probably frazzled because I just had to write a 14 page rough draft for one class and take my midterms, etc., etc. So my mood and my personality feel a little. And um, even though the midterm wasn't as long as it could have been, um, probably thank the good heavens. Um, thank the good heavens, because I had a three hour file last semester and oh, I, I was a limp noodle. I was done. Oh, I was done. But so basically, yes, eat well, eat healthy. Don't, don't find yourself falling into the traps that say that if you eat a certain thing, it's going to help that particular body part. Because I can point out things like spotted dick and men. Okay, men aren't things, but I don't see a lot of American men running for the canned pastry to help out. It just isn't done. By the way, <clears throat> this video is not appropriate for children. I will also do uh, a quick warning at the beginning and put that in. Since this is getting a bit long and it's very, very ranty, I'm just going to wish you all the best of love, healthy eating, take good care of you, and uh, just be safe, be sane, be reasonable, wash your fruits and veggies. Don't worry if you're making another person politically happy with your eating. It's all about it's all about the individual. It's about their health and their individual system, which is fascinating and wonderful. And sometimes form does follow function, which is why there are entire sections of one of my notebooks that read something like coronary coronary junction. What's your function? Because that's how my brain works. And it's someone with a broken brain. I, I heart walnuts. I do, I do. Maybe not nearly as much since watching that one Dick Van Dyke episode where the walnuts kind of took over. And then Danny Thomas came in. Okay, so, but all of these things are good and they can do wonders for your body, including your brain. But guys, it's not going to be if you eat raspberries, they're going to help whatever part of you is raspberry shaped. I can see where that comes from. And I can say that, say, if you were believing this in say the 14th century or the 15th century, I could understand more because that's the, you know, things were going. And even the great scientists of the age, like Jack D were talking about witches and ghosts and ghouls so but jack d was a funny one anyway okay so i love you eat well take good care of you and uh seriously i am not appropriate for children love you <laughs>